Hello everyone. I'd like to briefly offer you some insight into a little known but nevertheless an amazing engineer of the 19th century named Richard Trevithick. Starting as an engineering consultant at the age of 19 for a mining operation, Richard Trevithick quickly became a very accomplished engineer whose solutions to many of the engineering problems of the time have had a significant impact on the way we live our lives today. His legacy includes the invention of the high-pressure steam engine, four steam-powered locomotives, and a steam-powered dredging machine. In 1797, Richard Trevithick invented the high-pressure steam engine, which utilized a cylindrical boiler to create a high-pressure steam that drove the piston mechanism inside. This steam engine was an improvement on the design of James Watt's low-pressure steam engine, which relied on near-atmospheric pressure in a condenser. The high-pressure steam engine was small enough that it was mobile, and therefore did not need to be housed inside of a building like many of the other steam engines at the time. In addition, it had an increased efficiency and removed the condenser that was iconic to James Watt's steam engine. In 1801, he designed the first high-pressure steam locomotive, which operated at 60 psi, that he called the Puffin Devil. Trevithick and several of his colleagues used it to travel a short distance uphill on Christmas Eve, 1801. A few days later, the machine broke down after some additional test runs and was destroyed when the operator left the fire for the boiler still burning, which overheated the engine. A year later, improvements were made to the engine, which increased the boiler pressure to 145 psi and the piston strokes to 40 strokes per minute. In 1803, the London steam carriage, his second locomotive, was created for smooth surface transportation. This carriage was driven by his high-pressure steam engine, as the name implies, and utilized a horizontally placed cylindrical boiler that drove a piston inside of it. The motion of the piston was then transmitted to a crankshaft which drove the 8-foot diameter wheels. This locomotive weighed roughly 1,500 kilograms and reached a top speed of 13 kilometers an hour. Richard Trevithick's most important engineering accomplishment occurred in 1804 when he engineered the first on-rail steam engine that had an 8 and a quarter inch diameter piston cylinder atop a 5-ton four-wheel drive locomotive. This locomotive, called the Penny Darren, was capable of reaching a velocity of 8 kilometers an hour and was able to transport 10 tons of iron, 70 passengers, five wagons at once on its 14.5 kilometer journey in approximately four hours. A fourth rail locomotive was created in 1808 which used a vertical piston cylinder which drove a pair of wheels rather than all four wheels. This design called the Catch Me Who Can was capable of reaching 19 kilometers an hour. Richard Cherrythick installed it on a circular track and then charged for people to ride in the carriage being pulled by the locomotive. However, the locomotive was too heavy for the cast iron rails which supported it, which resulted in the rails fracturing in a brittle manner. Trevithick's interests turned away from the locomotives and he developed the first steam dredging machine in which his engines powered a train which had buckets attached to it in order to keep the channels navigable by removing excess deposits from the rivers. As you can see, Richard Trevithick led a very interesting life where he faced many engineering problems and was able to come up with innovative solutions to these issues. His accomplishments include the invention of the high-pressure steam engine, four steam-powered locomotives, and a steam-powered dredging machine. This concludes my presentation, and thank you all very much for your time.